Welcome to Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and I did get a lot of letters about ghosts over Christmas and New Year's, but not a lot about Thanksgiving. And the couple I got, mm, no, I, I didn't really think they would be good to do now. So I'm going to do something a little bit different today. I am going to give you two stories of people that have given me recipes. And the first one is for nut roll. Many years ago, and I'm talking probably 35 years ago, a lady had called me up by the name of Eleanor. And she said, I don't really believe in any of this, but something is wrong in my house. I don't know what it is. She said, this time of year, right after Thanksgiving until Christmas, she says, I make all kinds of nut rolls. I give them away as gifts. My husband's been dead for seven years and I got really involved with the church. And so that's what we do. I give them tall gifts, all my friends, all my neighbors. And she said, but whoever or whatever is here is making me absolutely crazy. She says, my oven will be turned off or the butter that I'm trying to soften is back on the refrigerator. Stuff is knocked off the counter. She says, I, I don't understand. Can you come out? And while I was talking to her, I did see a woman ghost in the house. And I thought, yeah, okay. So made an appointment and went out to see her. And she came to the door and it was a door off the driveway. So it came in, went up three steps into the kitchen. Oh my gosh, it smelled so good in that house. But you know, when you bake with yeast dough, it, it just smells so good. And as soon as I was, I says, oh my gosh, Bess, I says, the house smells wonderful. And she says, oh yeah, she says, I just took my very first batch of nut rolls out. There they are sitting on the sink waiting to cool. And I glanced over at them and I just sort of thought, wow, okay. And I, I don't, the only way I could describe these is a nut roll is round. It's a roll. These were some sort of a flat looking thing. I, 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 I don't know quite what they were. They smelled like nut rolls, but you know, who knows? So now the ghost is standing there and the ghost said, aren't those disgusting? She can't bake for anything. She says her baking is absolutely terrible. And I thought, oh, great. So we sit down at her table and I started talking to her. And while I'm talking to Eleanor, Bess is just babbling away. She said she doesn't know how to bake. She, she does everything wrong. She doesn't measure right. She doesn't even know how to roll them, she said. And this cat's under my chair and he's making me crazy. So um, she said, you, you got to tell her to stop making these nut rolls, she says. And beside that, she says, her recipe is absolutely horrible. So now I'm sitting here trying to think, what am I supposed to tell this poor lady? She loves doing this. She obviously loves baking. I, you know, I, I'm not going to insult her. And then she, Eleanor said to me, well, she doesn't bother me when I cook. And I looked at Bess and she says, she's a pretty decent cook. She said she can, her meatloaf looks wonderful. The soup, she said chili. She's a killer on chili. She said she is a really good cook. She says, but she just can't bake. She says, I wish she at least would use my recipe. And I thought, hmm, okay. So I'm talking to Eleanor, just chit-chatting about different stuff. She makes like 25 to 30 nut rolls to give out to people. And then Bess chimes in and she says, oh yeah. And everybody throws them out. 
but nobody wants to say anything because they don't want to hurt her feelings. I said, hey, you know, Eleanor, I says, let me ask you a question. I says, the ghost that's her, her name is Bess, and apparently she was a really, really good baker. I said, and she had a secret recipe for nut rolls. And seeing that she can't make them anymore, she was wondering if you would like it. Well, Eleanor's eyes just glistened. It was like everybody has somebody in the family that has a wonderful recipe and always leaves out one ingredient. And so she said, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I want it. I want it. I said, okay. I said, uh, get me paper and pencil. That was the first time I had ever asked for paper and pencil, but after that day, I always carried it in my case. So Eleanor got me the, the paper, pen, pa pencil, whatever, and uh, Beth started giving me the recipe, and I wrote it down, and... She says, now let me tell you how to tell her how to roll it, too. I said, roll it. And she said, yes. And she said she uses a cloth, and she rolls it out on the cloth, and then she picks the uh, end of the cloth up, and it'll roll the, it very tight. So I even learned something that day. I said, okay. So went ahead and... Uh, absolutely, Bess left. Eleanor was happy. It was about oh, a week after the new year, and Bess calls me up, and she's or scratch. Eleanor calls me up, and she says to me, "Hey, Marianne," she said, "You know, she, uh, Eleanor said or Bess said that this was a secret recipe." She said, but am I allowed to give that out to anybody because it was a secret? And I says, oh, yeah. I said, she's gone to heaven. I says, I wouldn't worry about it. I says, go ahead. I says, give it to whoever you want. I said, why? And she says, well, it's the darndest thing. She says, everybody that got one of those nut rolls has asked me for the recipe. And she said, Nobody ever asked me for my recipe, and I thought, oh boy. I says, well, hers was special. Hers was a secret recipe. That's probably why. And she said, yeah, I guess so. She says, in rolling it with that cloth, that is wonderful. And I said, good, good. I says, I'm glad that everything worked out. And I did one of her friends from the church maybe a year after her, and she started laughing. She says, you know, she says, we're so grateful that you went to see Eleanor. She says, because she's so sweet and dear, she says, but her nut rolls were absolutely horrible. She says, they are so great now. She says, every one of the ladies in the church has that recipe. So, you know, it, it turned out okay. The other recipe I want to tell you about is this gal called me up and she told me different problems that were going on in the house, a lot of little electronic problems. They weren't feeling good. Um, somebody kept mes messing with the thermometer for the heat. It would either be too hot or down too low. And sure enough, when I talked to her, there was definitely a ghost in the house also. And so I go out, and it was about two weeks before Thanksgiving. And we're sitting there, and the name of the ghost that was there was Ruthie. And so the lady of the house, we'll call her Ann, was asking Ruth all these questions. And Ann says, I'm really sorry. I was hoping it would be my grandmother. I says, you know, in all honesty, I says, not very many houses that I go into that the homeowner knows who the ghost is because, you know, your, your relatives wouldn't do this to you. She said, yeah, I guess. So now Ruthie's listening to this and she said, well, her grandmother comes here all the time. 
I says, wait a minute. I says, her grandmother is not in the light. She's, she says, yeah. She said she comes through here about, well, twice a week, maybe just to see what's going on, check on the grandkids, the great grandkids. And I said, do you know where she is? And Ruthie said, yeah. She said, she's at her sister Linda's house. And so I said, Anne, I says, I need to tell you something. I says, obviously, you have never dreamt of your grandmother. She said, no, never. And I said, well, there's a couple things. When you dream of somebody that has died and they look good, they look healthy, that means they are where they're supposed to be. I said, but if you've never had a dream of grandma, there's, I says, from what Ruthie is saying, grandma comes through here. Grandma has not gone to the light. She says, oh, no. I says, how long has grandma been dead? She says, oh, well, maybe five years now. And I said, well, I said, I wish she was here. I said, because I could, you know, let her go too. So Ruthie says to me, well, how about if I go to Linda's house and get her? And never happened. Nobody, I, I was so surprised. And I'm thinking to myself, is she going to come back with grandma or is she going to take off and I'm not going to see her again? But and I told Anne what she says. She says, yes, go get her, go get her. I need to talk to her. There's something I really, really, really need to ask her. I said, okay. So I looked at Ruthie and I says, I'm trusting you. Go ahead and go find grandma and bring her back. They weren't gone five or six minutes. And I started getting a little worried. I thought, no, she's not going to come back. But sure enough, they both were there. And grandma was there. And I said to Annie, I said, so grandma's here. What do you want to ask her? And she said, what is the secret to the stuffing? She says, none of us, we've got the flavor right, but the consistency is wrong. What are, we're doing something wrong. Grandma just started laughing. And I looked at her and I said, really? You can't tell the family how to make your stuffing so that when they make up, they go, oh, Grandma made this. Remember when Grandma did this? I said, they would have such good memories of you if you give them the recipe. And she sort of looked at me, and she said, yeah, okay. So Annie runs and gets her, her recipe, and she goes through with step by step what she put in the recipe. And Grandma said, yes, 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 yes. And she said, so what am I missing? She says, you're not missing anything. She says, you're just, there's one thing you are not doing. And so I'm, I'm listening to this. And okay, I'm going to throw this out there first. When people make stuffing, original, you know, from scratch stuffing, some people do put eggs in it. Some people do not. I do. I do put eggs in my stuffing. She says, well, here's the trick with the eggs. Separate them, put the yolk in with the stuffing, mix it up real good, but take the egg whites and beat them until they're peaked and fold the egg whites into the stuffing. And it makes all the difference in the world. And I thought, huh. Okay, so went ahead and grandma did go into the light then. She actually gave the, the, her, her granddaughter a couple more recipes. And the other lady left too, so everything was fine. So that Thanksgiving, when I'm making my stuffing, I, I'm holding my eggs and I'm thinking, should I try this? And I thought, why not? So I separated the eggs. I mixed the egg yolks in with everything else I had in. And I beat the egg whites and I did fold them in. Unbelievable what a difference that makes. I am not a cook. I don't know why that works. 
but everybody is always so nice in giving me answers when I throw stuff out there that I'll probably get the answer why folding the egg whites in works. But And it makes no difference whatever the base is for your stuffing because you can have whatever you want. You know, you don't have to change anything. The only thing you have to do is beat the egg whites and fold them in. And it it's it truly it's good stuffing. It really is. Okay. Um I got a lot of recipes over the years because when I started carrying the pencil and paper with me, I would write them down and just throw them in my case and come home and throw them in a box. And one thing led to another and somebody from a, a book company asked if I would do a recipe book. And I did. And I, I probably a lot of you have it. It's called Beyond Delicious. There's a hundred recipes in this book. They're all from ghosts and the stories of how I got them. So the nut roll recipe is definitely in that book. And we're going to do a little bit next Monday, the 30th of November is a full moon. It's also a lunar eclipse. So if you've got ghosts in your house, you are definitely going to feel them now. Between now and when that full moon peaks on the 1st, uh, or the 30th rather. Um, my next Zoom is on December 11th, but unfortunately it is already filled. But we did open another one on Monday which will be the last one for the year, um, Monday the 21st at 7.30. And there's quite a few people there already, but there's still room if that's something you'd like to do. And with the pandemic, I am scheduled to go to the Goddess Elite on the 19th from 1 to 4. We did it last month. And it worked out nice. Everybody social distanced. Everybody had masks on. But I don't know how much they're going to start closing more things down now. So if you want to come out, I'll have all of my items there. If you're looking for Christmas gifts, the charms, whatever, the books, you want the book signed, I'll be there as long as we're going to be allowed to be there. So make sure you check. And the last thing is... People that are looking for Christmas gifts, there is a special from December 1st through December 31st. Shipping will be reduced to $3.99. And if you live in Cuyahoga County or adjoining counties, you should be able to get an order in by December 21st. You should get it by Christmas. And any others from out of state, the 17th of December. And we get them out there pretty quick. So, listen, everybody be very, very safe tomorrow and enjoy your Thanksgiving. And we will definitely talk to you next week. Thanks.